so rise notification. And haven't streamed in a while. <laughs> I've noticed that, even with playing um, Final Fantasy. Yeah, I was kind of focused on getting all of uh, Elagos' jobs to 80, which I accomplished, by the way. Congrats. Congratulations. And then I decided working on my alts, which... For Final Fantasy XIV, it's weird to have alts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to mute myself for just a few seconds here while I check on a few things. Cool, the overlay is working. Fun fact, anybody who's watching live can actually see the current stats for each of the characters on the right side there with the D&D Beyond extension. Very nice. Very cool. All right. Yeah, now you can see what I can do on zero preparation because I was la a lazy bastard. <laughs> so let's get it on. This is not the screen I wanted. Hold on. There we go. That's the screen I wanted. There we go. Four. Welcome everybody to a new season of Bears and Dragons. We have some old players. We've got some new players. Bears and Dragons. It's where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons. For some reason that didn't sound quite right. I think you got cut out there or something, but thank you. I appreciate it. I'm always there for you. <laughs> so we will introduce uh, our players uh, uh, as we get into the game, because this is pretty much a introduction section, right? Yeah. Session uh, zero or point five. So it might be a little bit shorter. We have just been getting set up. Uh, I barely prepared. It's it's all fine. It's all fine. And dandy. <laughs> That's why we started about a half an hour late. Deep beneath the surface of the world lies the Underdark, a realm of endless labyrinthine tunnels and caverns where the sun never shines. 
The underdark is filled with races and creatures too numerous to count on or, or list. And foremost among these are the Dark Elves, the Drow. Hated and feared even by their fellow dwellers in the darkness, the Drow raid other settlements in the underdark as well as the surface world, taking prisoners back with them. Rendered unconscious with drow poison, then coloured and shackled. These prisoners are eventually sold as slaves or entertainment in the dark elves' <coughs> subterranean cities. I need everybody to roll me a d10. Eight. So I rolled it on D20, or beyond, and the didn't spread over, so. Okay. Well, what'd you get? Uh, two. Two. Okay. No, it didn't. Mine also did not, but I got a nine. Damn invaders. Alright, first on deck. Being dragged down into the pens of Vulcan Velve and thrown into a corner is a uh, water a water genasi, right? Holly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Water genasi. A few hours later, she wakes up. Well, would you like to describe yourself, Holly? Holly is. Let me just let me get my description up. Oh, I wrote it down. Now look who's not prepared. Mm. Uh, Holly is mid to late twenties. She's about five eight. She wears. Oh, we're um, wearing what we came in with, or no? Um, we're just kind of, we just got like potato sacks. Yeah, I mean, it if it doesn't provide any sort of armor bonus. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Um, all right, well then she's looking a little busted. Um... Compared to what she usually wears. She's got, um... Markings on her body. So blue. Um... Including some on her face. She's got, uh... If you look into her eyes, you can kind of tell, like, it's... Black and, like... Very, very deep. Blue. Kind of black. And it kind of... The outside of her eyes glow a blue. Hair is very um, light, and you can see bubbles coming off of it, like a light blue, and it flows. And that's Holly. Right. Now <clears> I'd like so, to uh, a D D twenty. D twenty. Uh, That's weird. Three plus. Regular D. Yeah, just a regular one. So three. Three. My my D and D beyond isn't transferring over, so I did it on roll twenty.
You are currently uh, shackled. You have a shackle around your throat and your uh, hands and feet. There are chains in between each of them. You said I just woke up? Yep. All right, I've been here before. Shackled and chained. Do I notice anything else around me? Uh, you do notice a uh, Darrow, a Quigoth, a Shield Dwarf, uh, a few Deep Gnomes, uh, something that looks like a small mushroom, which is moving around. Oh, maybe. Oh, very interesting. There is a, a drow in here, also shackled and like, currently in the same state that you are. Uh, and uh, another uh, creature called Kuatoa. Okay, um, Holly's pretty scared. She's just gonna chill and kind of see if anybody else makes a move. The uh, little mushroom creature kind of hops over to you, uh, shakes itself and some spores go out and you can't help but inhale a few of them and you hear in your head hi i'm stool who are you hi i'm holly hi stool um you know exactly where we are yeah we're in Vulcan valve they're mean here mean here okay uh do you remember how we all got here Nope, nobody does. All we know is like we we all of a sudden fell asleep somewhere and then just kind of woke up. Oh. And there we are, right here. I can't really go anywhere. These guys could probably kill me or something, so I just follow their instructions. I can't really do much. But the rest of it. Ron gets the worst of them. Ron's that, that orc over there. Is the orc? Is he friendly? Bit of a bully. All right, all right. Um, I just sit there and listen to Stool ask him. Um, hmm, doesn't know where we are. I think that's all she's gonna do right now. So throughout your, your, later on in the day, the day, can't really tell, it's uh, constantly dark, relatively dark. There's lights that are mostly outside of this combination cavern prisoner cell. Uh, occasionally, uh, the drow um, take a couple of the prisoners out to what you find out to be like some sort of hard labor. Mm -hmm. uh, you are actually coerced into some of that hard labor. But some of it is something that's you think it's kind of a stupid task because all it is is taking rocks from one side of a room to the other side. And then mm. after you're done with that, they have you take them all back. Pretty pointless, but okay. All right. And <clears throat> in the they do give you some gruel to to eat. Uh but uh other than that nothing I get everything's pretty <laughs> boring as if they're just waiting for something. You're just using you as slave 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 labor. All right. I give gruel I give most of my gruel to stool. Because, yeah, gross. Squirrel, stool doesn't really eat very much because he's so small. Oh, he doesn't? No. Mm. He thanks you, he appreciates the thought, but nonetheless. No the problem. very next day, a human esque 
looking man is thrown into the cell with you all in the evening. He is unconscious and he wakes up. Uh, Roderick, would you like to describe your character? So you see Roderick, yeah, he looks human. Something looks off and all, but you really can't tell. He is beefy. Like, he worked out a lot every day with gym day, and he did do leg today, too. Like, he, all around, he made sure everything was proportioned right. Never skipped. Um, he ha uh, has just simple robes on, uh, some wraps uh, that covers, like, one... Like, it kind of goes over his shoulder a bit, like, his left shoulder down to across his right wrist. You see one of his beefy pecs. Nice, nice, a nice, dunley matted chest hair. And all beard, nice beard shaped, which is weird, because you think you wouldn't be able to see well his own beard. Who knows? Um, and yeah, just, in, like, so while he's sleeping, he just looks like that until he opens his eyes. And they're red. Blood red. Almost looks like they're glowing a bit. You think they you think they're glowing, but all of a sudden they they stop. But kinda still are, just a little bit. Um He's six two, a nice two eighty pounds. That's just sheer muscle. So, yeah. That is Roderick. And you wake up to find the same thing. You see this little mushroom guy come over, shake itself, some spores burst up into your face. You can't help but inhale him. And you hear in your mind, Hi, I'm Stool. Well, 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 hi, I, I'm Roderick. Hi, Roderick. Good to meet you. Holly just came in, in yesterday. That that that's the uh, the 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 blue person over there. And he also introduces, points out everybody else. Uh, that's that is nice. we really being here and all. Um. God, did I drink too much last night? I don't remember. Nothing. Uh, that was probably just the drow poison. Drow, drow poison? What? Yeah. What, <laughs> what, what do you think those shackles are? And who threw you in here? Oh. He looks down all of a sudden. He's like, oh, shit. Well, this, this, okay, I know I'm, uh, I can sometimes be a little kinky, but this is, might be a little bit too much. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this yet. It's kinky. Yeah, I, you don't need to worry about that. Like, you just, you, you are precious as you are. Not going to change that. Okay. And just... A little, just a little peckish, but I'm fine right now. They bring gruel on occasion. It's not much, but that's all they give us. I'm just gonna try to do what my master says before, because just, just meditate. He's just gonna go into lotus position and just try to calm himself, because he doesn't want to get too worked up right now similar thing happens later on in the day some trial guards open the cage bring some of you out end up Roderick gets the rock moving duty Holly you oh, end up having to clean before. something are we back in training right. what cleaning what necessarily am I cleaning in a quarry? Just laundry. 
And they have you do some dishes. All right. And they say, throw you back in the cell and feed you, feed you girl. Roderick doesn't touch it. You don't mind this time? Maybe Roderick going into a med meditated state again? Yep. Holly sees that. Take on stool. Say hi to Holly. Hello. Uh, when Roderick goes back to goes back into his uh, meditative trance, uh, you see the orc, Ront, kind of sneak up to his the bowl of gruel that's still sitting in front of Roderick and uh, goes to reach out for it. You can have it. Uh, Ron stops, looks at you, says, all right, he takes it and starts eating it. Really? I need you to roll me a uh, d20. Roderick. Is this for what I think it is? Oh, you, you already did. Uh, yeah. I figured the low number would be bad. Kind of like grading it on like 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 11 through 15, 16 through 20. Stages. Uh, a couple of days pass, this, this whole thing repeats. Various different tasks are given to you at any time somebody gets out of the line. Uh, either they're whipped by a scourge, especially from who you end up finding out is the mistress of the the uh, the house, the mistress Ilvara. Mm. Everything's very stings. If you get really out of hand, uh, they shoot you with a bunch of tranquilizer darks and knock you unconscious and throw you into the cell, back into the cell. They don't kill anybody outright, but they will beat you. About three days after Holly showed up, two days after Roderick showed up, they throw another human into to the pen. Lassiter, who would you like to describe yourself? Excuse me. Lassiter... He is, um, tall, white man <laughs> that, uh, he has, a uh, blonde hair. Oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, yeah, blonde hair. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be combed, but... He, he just got thrown into jail, so it's like all scruffed and stuff. Uh, probably has um, uh, drooped eyes, like a uh, um, those bags under your eyes. Um, probably has a black eye or something. I don't know. Uh, leather armor. Don't really have an idea. Would, would he have armor on right now? No, nah, he wouldn't have the armor on. Yes, I got, uh, Does he wear a shirt under his armor? Yeah. Um, okay, so probably just, just um, like one of those start, uh, sleeveless shirts that they had um, back then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> back then. Uh, he, he's, he's not like buff or anything, but he, he has muscle. Um, respect. He's yeah, toned. yeah. Uh, is he awake? Um, he was thrown in unconscious, and we're just gonna say it's the morning, and you wake up. You probably have a throbbing headache. Oh my god! What the fuck? Uh, little mushroom thing pops over to you and shakes itself some spores burst into the air and you can't help but inhale them and you hear in your mind 
Hi, I'm Stool. What's your name? I punch it. <laughs> no. Roll me an attack uh, roll. You, sir, you, sir, do not need to do that. Roll me an attack roll. The fuck? I, that, is, that, is, that is rude. I don't know what the fuck's happening. It, it, um, I mean, this could be an instinctive, an instinctive thing. You need to calm yourself. Oh. oh, I need to check some stats. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, you hit roll damage. Okay. Uh, you uh, knock out this uh, <laughs> this mushroom. <laughs> he falls over unconscious. He, he, he just uh, put uh, all his spores, talks, and I yell. Ah, and oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. It, and then the statement. You hit him, and he just goes... <laughs> You're not very strong, are you? I was, I was about to say, he did zero damage. How can he be zero unconscious? Yeah, I meant my statement. I thought the 12 was the damage for some reason. Oh. <laughs> That's just obliterate. <laughs> oh. You just, it, it, your fist just kind of bounces off of him. And he just, ew. Although he th can't really reach. So it's like, he just kind of like steps back. It's like, sorry to scare you. It is kind uh, of scary here, though. Where am I? Uh, you're at Vulcan Valve. It's in the Underdark. I know what the Underdark is. Um, let me a history check. Meanwhile, Mighty teleports in and shanks. No. <laughs> All of a sudden, out of nowhere, this little goblin comes in with a with a ba battle axe, which looks like a great <laughs> great axe in his hands. He comes slashing at you. <laughs> uh, no, for some reason, uh, you have no idea what the Underdark is. Uh, the fuck is the Underdark? <laughs> ah, that's where I'm from. May, may, you might want to ask some of the the people that were probably from the surface. There's like a Roderick or Holly over there. I don't think they're from down here. Um, my surroundings. You're in what looks to be a slave, a uh, prisoner cell with a uh, orc, some deep gnomes, Quagoth, uh, Quagoth. A Kuatoa, a Nidero, and an orc. By the way, don't try doing that to the orc. He's a bully. Uh, uh, he's fine. I'm more uh, worried about the mushroom talking to me. You're, is it a mushroom? I, I'm called I'm called a Mykonid. What does it look like? That's a good question. I've got a handout for that. Looks like that. Yeah, I have no idea what that thing is. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my my uh, statement still stands. War would have hoped to mushroom talking to me. <laughs> um, every, is everyone else uh in here with me? That that we are, and I saw that, and I was highly offended that you punched the little one. Um, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. suddenly, you see this really big guy step between you and stool. Stool. He is beefy as fuck. Uh, my god, you could shred cheese on it. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Um, He's got this big... His eyes are completely red. Medicine check? Sure. Medicine... People want to get a better view of what Roderick uh, is. They can look at um, Discord. He, he, maybe he's sick. Uh, usually, somebody when when they have like red eyes. Although this is weird because it's like completely red. You okay? Ain't glowing. Just here, one sec. I'm just, I'm just getting, um, <laughs> really hungry. Um, trying to keep it under control right now, but I'm getting bad. And you start seeing, um, his, uh, fangs, his, uh, incisors start to grow a bit. He's just, I'm just trying to keep it under control. Let's breathe. Uh, how breathe. about you go over yep, there? Yep, 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 yep. I just meditate, meditate. I did not punch the uh, mushroom again with my incredible strength. Lassiter, roll me a uh, constitution save. Yeah. Save, not check. Nice. Yeah, um, so it, it takes probably about an hour or so, but your headache actually starts to alleviate yourself and you feel fine. Uh, you can definitely tell uh, that it was you were definitely poisoned in some case, and that's probably why... You have no idea how you got to wherever you are. The usual, usual thing. Now I need you to roll me a d20. Oh, wrong. Uh, ten. Several days pass. Last week you get the uh, whole stone training thing where you end up having to uh, move rocks from one side of the room to the other and then back again. More cleaning, more just mundane sort of things uh, happen. And about four days later... At one point, question, um, would I get close to a guard... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, some of them probably like kind of pushed you in whatever direction they want you to go. They're not kind. Ow. At one point, I'm going to grab onto a guard's hand as they try to push. And they get a bit of a zap. As I, well, it, it as I feed a little bit. Okay. Uh, roll me a check control. quickly. Oops. Sixteen. Okay, you successfully grapple them. You, they are uh, able to to grab their wrist, and I'm assuming you do this just enough so you can feed and maybe make it like it look like some sort of accident or something. 
Yes. Guard looks, blinks his eyes a little bit and says, get off me, and kind of throws your hand off. Uh, my, my apologies, I, I am such a klutz right now, I am sorry. I tripped. And you see his eyes, like, so how I picture it starts is that the red kind of creeps into his eyes, like from the outside, um, very much Castlevania. If anyone's seen the Netflix series, like how it like the red like comes from the outside into the iris, so you kind of now see it like receding a bit. Now that I've fed, do we know that you fed? Uh, you... I don't know. You can make a uh, make a make another medicine check. Medicine or religion, whichever one you want. Ooh. Uh, medicine. Uh, whatever happened just by touching this guy, uh, noticing that the eyes, the, the red retracted, uh, you seen that he rhetoric's probably better? Uh, with something. Uh, whatever his ailment was is wearing off. You don't know exactly why. Okay. So four days pass. And in, tossed into the, to the kennel overnight. I'm just calling it the kennel. Is a fire genasi. Warmth. Hess, would you like to describe your character as you are sure. up in the morning? So, uh, Hess, uh, basically the physical descriptions, he's going to be like a short, really lanky looking guy. Um, he's got red hair, or like short red hair, blonde streak in it. Um, and if you go and look at his eyes, they're uh, blue. But if you get really close, you notice that they're moving. They look kind of like flames. His skin is uh, white with like a... Uh, he looks like he's blushing all over. Um, and then uh, basically what he's wearing currently uh, would be like co or like peasant clothing, but it's really torn and like shredded. Um, just enough to basically cover him and maybe like a little bit of his legs and his chest. A little mushroom creature comes up to you. Uh, shakes himself and a bunch of spores come spreading out and you can't do you can't but inhale some of those spores and you hear in your head hi i'm stool where are you can i do a quick nature check uh because i know the underdark uh sure uh let's see. just to see what kind of person or what kind of creature this is and if i should actually be afraid or not An amazing 10. You haven't seen this version of a creep of these type of creatures before, but you know that there are fungal type creatures uh, called uh, myconids. Uh, they can be very, very nice creatures. This seems uh, to be a very young one. I just kind of like sit, cross my legs, pat him on the head. Hi, Stool. I'm I'm Hess. Hi, good to meet you. I'm sorry that you're here, though. You seem like a nice person. Uh, try to be. Uh, so, where's the nearest guard? I kind of want to get out of here. Well, the guards are the ones that threw you in here. Yeah. They and 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 they don't really take to the people trying to leave. Yeah, this isn't my first time dealing with them. Are, are we all? Can, can we hear this? Yeah, the the cage is uh, the pen isn't that big. 
Can you can you smell the roses? It smells really good in here for some reason. Like sun just came out and everything was good. Are you feeling all right? Oh, I'm just I'm just uh referencing the all the positivity that just came out of this guy's mouth. I don't know what you heard, but I didn't hear much positivity. Hmm? He said he dealt with them before. Maybe he's got a plan. Oh no, my plans usually involve uh, hiding and attacking. Ooh, fat, and I like that. I like that. That sounds right up my alley. She'd also give you a few uh, handouts. So, uh, Stool kind of points out and introduces you to a few of the uh, cast of characters that are around. Uh, he points out Bupito, a uh, Darrow, who ends up to being rather talkative. But seems rather kindly. We have someone who calls himself Prince Darendel. Um, after any conversations you may have had, he speaks in Elvish, uh, but he also knows the common tongue. Uh, and he says that he's an elf prince that was polymorphed into a uh, Quagoth. Sure, buddy. <clears throat> You meet uh, Eldith Feldrin, a shield dwarf uh, from Gontelgrim. She really wants to get back. Of the Deep Gnomes, you uh, meet Jim Jar. Get my references here. Uh, he was, uh, more, uh, charismatic. You have the, who Rot refers to as being a bully. At work. Oh, you don't even look like such a bully. He looks like he just wants a hug. You meet a uh, drow, which seems kind of weird that he's that he's in here because he's a drow. Who says his name is Sereth Zekarket. You meet Shushar, a very who, while being a Kuato, a more of an aquatic creature. Uh, he's he's very calm and peaceful. You also meet a pair of um, uh, more reclusive um, deep knowns named Topsy and Turvy. <laughs> And he's, if I could have you roll me a d20. Does that work? Yep. Okay. All right. Of your days being here in Velkin Velve, uh, being forced to do menial jobs and, well, useless jobs in, in some cases. You do man some of you do manage to scrounge up a few things. Uh, he and Holly, you're able to uh, scavenge a gold coin. Each. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Lassiter, you're you're able to smuggle a, a five foot long strand of silk rope. 
And Roderick, you found a uh, flint shard, which you think might be able you might be able to use as a dagger. This would be nice. Now that you are all here, captured by the drow, you wouldn't wish his fate upon anyone. Yet here you are, locked in a dark cave, the cold, heavy weight of metal tied around your throat and wrists. You are not alone. Other prisoners are trapped in here with you in an underground outpost far from the light of the sun. Your captors include a cruel drow priestess who calls herself Mistress Ilvara of House Miserum. Over the past several days, you've met her several times, robed in silken garments and flanked by two male drow, one of whom has a massive, massive scars along one side of his face and neck. Mistress Silvera likes to impress her will with scourge in hand and remind you that your life now belongs to her. Accept your fate, learn to obey, and you may survive. Her words echo in your memory, even as you plot your escape. And with that, what would you like to do? Punch. Um. Okay. You're just going to see Roger keep meditating and all. Just wait until the right moment. Are we still in front of the lady? Or are we no, that's just an overall you? thing. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I really want to get out of here. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Laster, I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Big. Don't we have the one map? Um, yeah. That shows the cells? That might be good. I... Ooh, that, that, that save. Ooh. Lassiter, you, it's been, you know, it's been rough. Yeah. Um, you are definitely not feeling well. Headaches. It just food does, is. You basically you get a hankering. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I I really want and need to get out of here. So, uh, anyone got any ideas, plans? It'd be nice to share with the group. I got nothing yet, but uh, uh, fire, fire and a uh, water person, people. It's Holly. I'm Hess. Holly Hess, think uh, it's it's nice to meet you. Uh. How's your day? Great? Fine? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I snap my Any fingers ideas? and I say, it's flaming. And produce a fireball. Or, not a fireball, you know, produce flames. <laughs> Roderick is still, like, he still just in, like, lotus position. You just hear. Just claps. And that, that was a good one. Um... Well, I'm sure we all came with weapons at one point. Does, has anybody seen where they may keep said weapons? My weapons I, are right here. And just hold, I just hold up my fists. I don't know about y'all, but... I do like well, a little pat down on myself and uh, a little sarcastic. I wish I'd thought about this before. Uh, I'm kind of 
not as great without a bow. I'm 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 going over to the big orc guy. Uh hey, Orky. Yeah, what do you want? Uh you you look like a big big man. Uh wanna get out of here? I've tried. Uh tell me, how, how have you how have you tried? Uh I'm I'm curious. Well, mostly trying to run every time they get me out of the cell. They try tackling me, it takes me about takes them about like five or six of them. But then they hit me that poison, and just out like a light. Okay, so I stand up, tall and sure of myself, as sure as I can be at the moment. I, I don't know how that. Um, guys. Woman, gentlemen, it is time for us to get out of here. We are not uh, some ants. That are supp- uh, God, just help me get out of here. I need to get out of here. So, um, uh, can I go inspect the bars? Yeah, sure. Anything specific? Just invest investigation? Uh, yeah, investigation. Oh, wow. Not bad. Give me a few seconds. I'm having internet issues. Yeah, sure. Well, I find my notes to see if I've got information about bars. So you see playing a fighter if a guy had spells. <laughs> Pretty solid. It's gonna be just a moment for Haley. Um, mm -hmm. the, his uh, Chromebook needs uh, updating. Oh yeah, it shouldn't be too long. Yeah. Yeah. He, he just got he just got it today. So. Ooh, neat. That way, he has something to play this on and whatnot. It was really cheap too. Only like a hundred and. After tax, one hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah, for like everyday stuff, that's yeah. actually actually pretty nice. If you're just doing like web browsing and stuff like that. Uh, oh, he's just like, oh no! It's like what? Critical Role is starting. Am I going to no. be shunned if I tell you guys I haven't seen Critical Role? Uh, not shunned, no. just uh, a gay gasp and uh, you really sh and a recommendation that you really should. Maybe <laughs> uh, start with campaign two because campaign one, uh, since it was like back in like 2012, <laughs> it's a little rough. Well, and also they were halfway, they were already, like the campaign had already started a bit before they started streaming. So you're like not seeing everything where campaign two you see it from the beginning mm. but they uh, just started last week campaign three yeah but campaign one uh also they went up to level 20 mm. uh, which one is vox machina uh, campaign, campaign one. one. Oh. oh so if okay. you want to if you want to see get a preview of uh the legend of vox machina you can uh start there yeah, I think I saw the first three episodes of season two, 
but I watched them when they came out and then couldn't yeah. do it because of work in school. Yeah. All, all, all of it is on YouTube, so. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just. Yeah. yeah. Time. The episodes are like an hour plus long. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no, 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 they're no, four hours. They're four hours. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> like an hour plus. Well, more than an hour plus. <laughs> yeah. Four. Hour plus, plus, plus. <laughs> Hour, when I think hour plus, I think like an hour and 50 minutes or an hour and a half, maybe. <laughs> but no, it's much longer than that. You can always <laughs> watch in bits and pieces, too. Yeah. No, the, yeah, last week they just started campaign three. So today is episode two, which we'll watch Monday. I was kind of, ex I was excited and somewhat I was mildly disappointed, but also excited about uh, uh, one factor about their characters. What? <laughs> the fact that, that half the characters they've already played. Well, they were kind of the saying... Like, well, they were kind of talking about that, like, normally the characters are already, like, before, like, the, like see, campaign two... A lot of the people knew each other beforehand, like, met up. So, with Dorian, Fern, and Orum, we just got to see that beforehand. Like, the whole adventures beforehand when they first meet. Their, their so, session zero was a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally, we don't get was... to see that. Can you guys hear me? Yep. There's also amazing, by the way, Exandria Unlimited that had them in there. Mm -hmm. It was really, really good. I watched it all weekend. D&D uh, &D Beyond. Yeah, like within, oh, like from Friday to Monday, he had finished it all. And if you want to know about Birch and Bell, you have to watch uh, Search for Grog and Search for Bob. Or yeah. For Grog. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember much being in Search for Bob. I don't think he was in Search for Bob. Uh, I think it was in Search for Bob because that picks up where Search for Krog left off. I haven't seen Search for Bob. That's why I was just like, I know I've heard Bertram Bell before. It's like, oh yeah. I didn't like him. <laughs> I think that was actually kind of the point. <laughs> I know, and now he's back. And it's like, oh no. Okay, let's hope that did everything. He's even older and wiser. <laughs> and wiser? Actually, I should put a question mark on that. Wiser? Wiser. But weaker. Yeah, he lost levels. <laughs> <laughs> he lost like 15 levels. <clears throat> Alright, so the bars. Look pretty sturdy. I think and you I've also got these manacles, which kind of limit your movement. Okay. Does anyone look like they've been inspired by my awesome speech? You gave uh, speech. No, they're all well. You can't really tell by stool because he doesn't really have a face. Uh, but the rest of them kind of like look at you like blankly. Actually, roll me a uh, per, uh, persuasion check. Where are you? Unnatural nope. Uh They look like they're thinking about it. But then you started with your whole, man, I needed to get out of here sort of thing, and they, they kind of lost interest. <laughs> you, you had them going when you were trying to make the ex epic speech, but when that broke down... Didn't hold it. <laughs> And we're limited to our movement because of our shackles. Mm -hmm. Are our shackles like tied together, chain to chain person, or is it like just individual person? 
there are individuals, but usually when they like take you out, especially if you're going, to, they're having you all do a similar type of work, they'll chain you together. Damn. But then they'll unchain you so you can do your work. So it's enough movement to be able to do your work. It's just kind of rough because you still are limited. And I whoop. And there's two guards, or a guard, outside of our cell? Uh, they're more of just outside the, ca uh, outside the cave. Outside the cave, your okay. cell is in. So do you see yourselves? It's a, on the right side of the map. No, it's black. Um, black screen. Mm. I see it. Oh, I see us. Yeah, I oh, can see us. I had to zoom out. Yeah, I was going to say, you might have to move over. And down. Oh. Okay, well, I see Holly. Yeah. I see myself. Uh, yeah, apparently you don't have dark vision. So I give you some. Um. <laughs> Nazis don't have dark vision? No. Uh, no, only the fire. It's Nazi. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. The humans don't have dark vision either. Well, some do for reasons. Mm. So I'm gonna go over to the bars. I'm gonna grab on, hold on to the bar, try to put my face through it, and look around. Okay, give me a perception check. Perception. That's the wrong thing. Uh, you see the guard that's near the, uh, yeah, near the front of the cave. Um, uh, step away. It disappears out of sight. Guys, this is our chance. There's a guard around. You also hear um, a horrible droning buzz echoing through the cavern. In fact, everybody hears it. Followed by an inhuman shriek. Uh, oh. Never mind. They hear it. <laughs> that changed quickly. Well, it's official. I hate this place. I never liked it to begin with. It, well, okay, I can't say that. I can't say that. It has a cer certain damp charm to it all. I don't That's know. I mean, you could call it dampness, or we could just be under the latrines. You never know. I'm trying to think positive right now. Um, um, does anyone know what that sound was? It was and, a bourbon. Uh... Can I roll a nature check to see if I know? Um, sure. Sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Nature Man here has no idea what's going on, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm gonna go go back to the bars and just 
yell out, Guards, you can't leave us here. <laughs> Let us out at least, please. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, no one else is trying anything. <laughs> I do want to You know what? Uh, I'm I'm gonna stand back from the bar, bars, and uh, do a Eldritch blast to the bar. Oh lord! Okay, nothing happens. Fuck! I try again. I I would oh, I want to do that I, when when you uh, went to do the uh, produce flame. Uh, nothing actually happened. Oh, you mean like it didn't even produce the flame? Nope. Oh, cool. Um, I would. Not working here. Sir, 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 I know you are having some sort of panic, anxiety driven attack right now. It would seem. Look outside the bars right now. I don't think blasting them would be a good idea. Um, oh, crap. Yeah. yeah. What's that? <laughs> I know the Underdark. I don't know what those are. Those don't look like good things. And I'll go ahead, because I, I have a feeling some people can't see. I'm oh. I I'm going to describe what I see. These nasty little thingy thing Bob flying around. You mm. got some big giant bees and you got big harpy looking dragon lights? I go and hide behind the orc. That's looks Super fun. <laughs> <laughs> the art, art grabs you and pushes you up against the bars. We can use them and bait. Uh, um, I, oh. I don't make good bait, sir. <laughs> you hear some yelling and screaming, some... Uh, bells sounding and it seems to be an alarm is coming on on when the uh, when the the uh, oh lord it's bird creatures comes flying down onto the ground and crashes in front of the cage cage and uh, rams into the bars and they seem to uh, kind of bend out of place and the door kind of seems to have got come off one of its hinges. And it could, leaps back into the air and starts engaging. Well, I, I think we now have a way out. But do we want to get out? Alright, Roger, it's your turn. Kick the gate down. Let's run. <laughs> I go to try to open up the door. Alright, give me a strength check. Oh, uh, shit. Actually, give me athletics. Kind of the same thing. At least with athletics, you can have my proficiency. Strength is my dumb stat, so... You go try to pull on it. Uh, it Wrong. Get, it, 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 Wrong. It get over here. Stuck the bench. Ogre boy, wrong. Get over here. Help. Uh, Ron comes over. Over. Like, uh, 
I need to try to pull. And, and just got cling right off the hinges. Good job. Oh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, okay. I can get my stuff back. And uh, he kind of goes running off this direction. Uh, well, everyone. Just it, follow him. Everyone. Yes, it's I mean, time for us to go. I grab Hallie's, Hallie's hand and I, I drag her with me. And she's like, all right, time to go, water girl. All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, I need everybody to roll me initiative. And get that tracker up. Big. Mm -hmm. Don't forget oh. to click on your people. Yep. And make sure you click your token. Your token. Okay. Uh, double. You want to make sure I do it right? So yeah, then go to there. Oh, okay, forward. There we go. Okay. One thing I can do. I'll be right back. Uh, my, my, uh, gamer class is 11 at the moment, just in case I get attacked. Be back. That's weird. I don't know why it's not showing the dice rolls. It did. But, it, like, the it actual did. of the dice. Like, actual rolling of the dice. Figure it out. Oh, wow. Well, at least I didn't get the worst. Oh, I'm not done yet. But no, other people got worse than me, so... BRB. Alright. Oh. Uh. Hess, what's your, uh, dexterity? Uh, 20. Or plus 5. Plus 5? Okay. So you actually would go first. And change this to plus 5. No. So I'm putting to back. Okay. So, it's your turn first. What would you like to do? This uh, is kind of one of those escape, uh, cinematic escape sort of things where it's turn based. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm going to run to where Grunk is and probably past him. Um, basically trying to head towards where he's going for our equipment. 
and hopefully that's the right place. Oh, I forgot I can move my own token. Oh, there's a the door right there, isn't there? Yep. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to try to open the door. You open the door and you find uh, there's a few people in there. I closed the door! <laughs> Close the door. Hey, Grunk! There's some friends in there for you! Well, let me at them. I'm basically going to, uh, I, I don't know if you're allowed this, but basically hold an action for Grunk's turn where what, he'll char- or I'll open the door when he goes towards it. Does that work out? Sure. Like, you have your hand, hand at the door and, he, and you're, like, ready to reopen it as soon as he starts coming your way? Yeah. Okay. That works. All right. Terry's just going to run out. Run up here and kind of look around, assessing the situation. Seems a little panicky. Ollie. Um. Well, since uh, flame genasi let go of my hand and I can't see anything, <laughs> um, I guess I shout out if I could get some light from anybody. If anybody can produce light, so we're out of the cage. But, um. I mean, you could move uh, around. I would say if you want to do it slowly, that would give you basically consider it difficult terrain. Because it's, it's, it's really dark, but it's not dark enough that you can't see within a certain range. In your case, five feet. Because on my map, it's completely dark. Um, I wouldn't even know. I'll go, I guess, ten feet ahead and then hold. But I can't really, I don't know what the map looks like. Like, yeah, right there. You can move your, you have access to yours. You just click on it and... Oh, now I can see it. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'll go there. Now. Okay, so I'm still in there. So, uh, so I would have difficult terrain. My movement is... Basically, your movement's halved. You're half, so it's 15. So it's 15. So that's five feet, so you got ten more feet of movement if you want to move. Uh, can I get, like, here? If you're not being... If you're, if you're you not can get being... Tight there. Yeah, it could be on the other side of Roderick. That's where I want to be, then. So, right there? Yep. Yeah. All right. That's where I go. Half, half uh, on and off, but your body is on, that, on the side that's on. <laughs> There's a little round. Okay. Oh, so that is my movement. I'll uh, hold. Or is it dodge? You can take the dodge action, yeah. Yeah. Dodge just in case anything comes at me. Oh. All right. That's my turn. Yeah, because you you don't want to. Yeah, I'm sticking with that for right now. I 
Yeah, I think everybody's just trying to like run out of the room. Stool's gonna hold Zach. Hold. Roderick. All right. <laughs> Time to go zippy zippy. <laughs> So, see, hearing that there were some people to fight over there, just like, I love to fight, let's do this. I'm going to come over here, open up the door. Uh, it, it, we'll just say, he said, uh, Roderick starts charging down down towards the door. Do you open the door for him instead of Ronth? Yes. Okay. So, opening door. And she'd be like, hello, boys, and let's see. Need to add these guys to the initiative. And try to fight him. And all right, which one are you trying to bite? The first one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's a tech roll. Yep. Go for it. That's more than likely gonna hit. That'll hit. All right, so five piercing, and then so I don't have any health loss, so that's nothing there. But I do gain a bonus to the next ability check or attack roll I make. That's equal to that damage. Okay. So Anything? just as I'm like on his neck, I'm gonna rear up and do like a gut punch for bonus. I'm gonna bonus action on arm strike. Okay. Uh, actually, we're gonna make that a fury of blows because I, I took the attack action. Okay. So, oh no. So that's going to be a 14 to hit. Um, yeah, you put in a solid punch there, but his uh, chain shirt seems to have uh, soaked much much of the blow. And then... Second. Okay, you need to do better. I'm not here for this. It's a crowded room. You're not getting the right angle. Um, and then I'm going to let Ronk get this, so I'm going to step back. Okay. And I don't get op uh, opportunity attacks because of mobile. Right. Just so everyone knows right now, I have a speed of 55. <laughs> so... I was watching this video about the mobile feet today, and I instantly thought about you. <laughs> yeah, I took it. Because why wouldn't I? All right, Lassiter. Oh, no. I lost track of my orc friend. <laughs> He's underneath Roderick. Take that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, I mean, two beefy guys next to each other in a very tight space. Sounds like a Saturday night to me. Everything. <laughs> Locked off. Enemies. Uh. Is there an enemy in there? I. I hold my action if anything looks like it's um anyone I'll do a uh 
Eldritch Blast. You need a focus for that? Huh? Uh, what, what are the components for an Eldritch Blast? Is it verbal semantic or... Semantic Damn. Or it is verbal, verbal and semantic. Okay, it's just VNS, then you should, then you should be fine. As you uh, see, there should be some over here as well as over here. So, so I I can pass it with just my hands. Yeah, verbal and semantic means you can you need to speak and move your hands, and you kind of can do that. It's just a little rough with the medical. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah. And actually, I'm gonna amend something. Uh, everything is considered difficult terrain because of the manacles. Um, yeah, if anything looks no. like it uh, be hostile towards us, I'll do a, a, a Eldritch Blast towards them. And where I am. on those magic attacks because you still need to move your hands. And it's not very easy. Do I only have one beam at the moment? Uh, probably. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Prince Tarendel's just gonna stay where he is. As the Warlock in our past campaign, yes, at right now you only have one beam. I'm just moving you so I can get to Ron. Ron's gonna jump over here. Make an attack on the same guy. I'm gonna say that until you can get those manacles off, it will be disadvantages for the attacks. I didn't think about that before, but from now on. That's pretty much it. Uh, Hess, it's your turn. Okie dokie. I am, uh, let me see. Do any of the people in the room that I can see have a bow or weapons on them? Uh, let's see here. Uh, Two at the top there have seem to have hand crossbows uh, and short swords. Well, the other one now has the same thing. Well, I'm gonna do the dangerous thing. I'm gonna jump on the first that's closest to me, try to take his crossbow or to take his short sword. All right, are you going for the short sword or the hand crossbow? The problem with the hand crossbow is you then also have to grab ammunition. I was I said the short sword. Yeah, I I, I thought about that the second I said it. Uh, I'm gonna go for the short sword. Okay, I'm gonna say this, and I will allow you to make uh, uh, to amend uh, men what you're gonna do. Um, I'll need you to make an athletics check. Or to, or to grapple it away from them. So you need, actually only need to make a grapple check, and then that will take an action if you succeed on that. Then next turn, you'll be able to uh, attempt to rest uh, the weapon away from them. 
Uh, where's Strauss? There it is. Ah, then I'll probably I'm probably gonna just try to sneak through while uh while Gurk's in there uh or Ron's in there destroying everything. <laughs> I'm gonna say his name wrong a thousand times. By the way, it looked like Roderick. Um, well, despite the fact that for some reason he actually bit the drow. Um, it looked like his punches were more solid than what Ron did. Damn right. Ron hit them. Didn't seem to hit him as hard as, as Roderick would. Would have. Like he's a good distraction. So I, I'm just going to see if I can dash through the room. Okay, where or, are you going? Is there something on the... Or I thought I saw a door on the other side. Yeah, there's a door on the other side. So basically, I'm going to go for that. Okay, are you going to disengage, or are you just going to rush through? Uh, Do you keep in mind you're also in shackles? Yeah, I'm going to disengage to get through there. Okay. So if you got 30 feet of movement, you have 15 feet, which should be enough to get to the other side. Yeah, it'll be here, and here, and then I guess trying to open the door while... He or past Ron. I can't see where the door is because of the uh, token. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it was there. So yeah, I was basically like try to slip around him and uh, go through the door. Yay! You open the door. You went 10 feet. Yeah, and I'm just going to do the last movement, I guess, and just go right there. And that will be it for me. You did. So on this, just to, to describe the room that you're seeing <clears throat> here is uh, it has a, a uh, what looks like a weird some type of wood table with three chairs, a smaller side table, and a uh, spider silk webbing set of hooks, which uh, looks like a, where like equipment could be hung. There is also a ladder in the room. Well. Is it for me? Alright. Uh, let's see what this Because of the, the crowd, uh, Turbius is going to stick right here. Holly! Okay. Drops to the I left, you drops to the right. To the left and drops to the right? Yep. And you can only move at half movement because of your shackles. I will go so I can get what probably here. Mm -hmm. I'll move there and then. Uh, am I close enough to do anything to draw in front of me? Yeah, you can uh, make an unarmed strike. You got no weapons, but it's also a disadvantage because of your shackles. Can I try to grapple him with my shackles? Absolutely. I'll let you do that without um without disadvantage? Yeah. So, um should I rage first before I go for that? Because you have um, the advantage of kind of up to you. So, okay. 
So, um, first, I'm going to uh, rage. Okay. Um, and when I rage... Okay. When I rage, you kind of, like, hear Holly sing, like, hum a song when she rages. And as she rages, her human-like appearance turns to, like, this blue greenish skin tone with like what looks kind of like glitter on it when she rages and then she is going to go and um take her shackles and try to grapple the drow in front of her all right uh, is go that go ahead and do an athletics check advantage athletics check advantage uh tabu can you help me real quick you'll do is to click on my person um oh, okay. so right click here. advantage yep 9 36 p.m oh hey. yep go over to you did not show Let's over show there that. Oh, I'm scrolled all the way down. So my initiative works, but my other stuff doesn't? Sometimes it can take a moment. It was six... Yeah, he got 16. Here it is. Okay. Uh, you successfully grapple him. Okay. So he's now grappled. Mm, that's my turn. Which means I'm going to say that any attack against him will be with advantage. So. Okay. Uh, it's a little crowded. These guys are kind of squishy, so they're going to stay in the back. Um, good dream. It is the drow's turn now that they see that they're captives. They're trying to escape. Uh, let's see. So the two at the top, so these two. We're actually gonna fire at Oldrick. Do this again, so I oh, wait a click it right. The other one comes their way, and that misses. One that's uh, grappled with you, Holly, is going to make an attack against you. His hands okay. are free. I'm assuming it's 17 hits. Uh, yes. I take eight points of piercing damage. And his short sword is just kind of bashed into your 
to you. Um, your rating, so reduce that by half. So four, only four. Oh, four? Okay. And the other one's going to try to stab at you. Uh, take three points of damage. Because um, I'm assuming 23 hits and seven reduced by half because of your rage. It's only three. Okay, so seven altogether. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did uh any of these two attack? Yes. Should I use my action? Yeah, sure. Yay. Oh, disadvantage. Uh, 14. Uh, you, you just, the manacles are making it hard to, to aim your Eldritch Blast, and it just kind of like it goes just by the head of one of them. Thick. Okay. Out of practice. Oh. Oh, it was Topsy's turn. I accidentally went. Uh, he's just going to stay right there. Actually, he's going to kind of move over here. Hoping to be out of sight of the uh, throw and crossbows. Stool is staying in the cave. Because Stool is baby. Roderick. Yes. Hey. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, shoot. I skipped over the draw elite warrior. Hold on. This is gonna do an attack and run. Actually, now that I think of it, Ronco's unconscious. Oh. The orc? Yep. Uh, oh. As the uh, bigger guy here, uh, it just does a good jab into him. Seems like a crit. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn. Let's see what's going on in there. And punch. Are you punching the one that I'm grappled to? No, I'm over here. Okay. When the fuck? <laughs> Ali sees Roderick run the other way. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. That wasn't the plan, but okay. Because it's at disadvantage, right? Yeah. That missed. That looks, uh, looks Ooh, like some, that's uh, gonna hit. That is safe water down there. Six. And just keep gonna... action and move, right? Yep. I love this fight. Everybody's still alive. Well, maybe not around. 
Uh, Jim Jar is going to stay where he is. Save for Trishar. Eldis is not happy. Um, he's going to come up here with Holly. Girl's going to fight. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, crit. And knocks the drow unconscious. Yes. And she picks up the short sword. The the girl. Yeah. Okay. Lasser. Oops, I rolled on bronze sheet, but that's okay. We'll just say that was Elvis. You're muted, I think. I'm so sorry. I always do that. I don't. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um damn I don't know um what what is what does the water look like well it, you're pretty high up so let me see if I can get a more description as to what's below uh let's see Five foot wide stairs, that are carved into stone. Bridges of spider silk rope connect the walkways to the guard tower and the entrance to the priest's tower. Swaying bridges are difficult terrain for non drow. Uh, creature pushed off the stairs, a bridge, or the fl edge of a platform must make a uh, dexterity save uh, to avoid the webs that are below it. Oh, okay, so those webs aren't the. There, just... <laughs> yeah, they're there. Okay. So, um... <clears throat> uh, there's dense webs, which uh, you've seen a few times some giant spiders crawling across them. You know what? I'm going to look for my my orc best friend. He, he went this way, so I'm going to go this way. Uh, half movement, right? Yep. So, and I'll just do say standard difficult terrain for the the bridges. I didn't read that before, but the bridges are difficult terrain for non drow. <laughs> okay. So, but I'm not going to double. I can't double difficult. I'm not going to double difficult terrain it. Five, ten, fifteen would be where Holly is. So, um, that, oh, wait, no, that isn't this five. I, I was right here. Yeah, that's fine. What I, okay, so, ten, it, damn it, someone's right there. Yeah, so you've got one more square. Can I, can I get on top of this Body? Yes. Okay. And you see Ront is on the floor. Unconscious. Seems to still be oh, But he does have a nice gash in his shoulder. Oh, okay. Um, care wounds. Come back to us, buddy. Yeah, what's the material? What's the components for cure wounds? Uh, verbal and somatic. Okay. Oh, so wow. I just reach down and touch him. <laughs> and I'm 13 healing. All right. Ron, uh, his wound seems to close up. And he starts blinking his eyes. Get the fuck up. You're not done yet. 
Thanks, little man. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> and that is my turn, question mark. Uh, bonus? I don't think I have any bonus actions. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. All right, His Highness. Move up here. Ront stands up, looks at the. Actually, he's going to try something. He 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 just kind of roars out and he yanks on his shackles as if he's trying to break them apart. Uh, nothing happens. Damn it. Hess. Uh, for me, I am going to cast Produce Flame. Um, it's verbal somatic. And then um, I'm going to try to throw it at the drow that is. In... So, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll attack at disadvantage. Oh. Sixteen. Here's my. Uh, he, uh, throws up his shield just as you send it your way, and it doesn't do anything. Just kind of... Ah! Turby comes over here and says, I think we can get out, but, 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 I think we, I think we need to... And Tubby's just like, no, 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 we can't do that. But I think we can do. And that's their turn. Holly, uh, you've—I uh, would say that as the uh, guard uh, was knocked on, uh, was knocked unconscious. Um, he's kind of—you just kind of let him out of your grasp, considering he was no longer a threat. What would you like to do? <clears throat> Sorry, am I still raged? Yep. Okay. So, and then, so, can I get in the little circle area that everybody's in, or no? Uh, yep. You can, like, move up here, or if you want to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Try to grapple the, the that boy. Okay. That drow, the drow in front of me. Athletics check. Uh, straight Athletics. roll. Uh, straight roll, so from D and... Or from uh, roll 20. Uh, or D and D Beyond. Just, just a regular roll. You, you do not have advantage because... You, the manacles are also at disadvantage, or they cancel each other out. Alright. Uh, I don't know. It's a pretty good roll in the drow's part. Athletics. So just roll. Alright. Okay, it's a flat roll. Uh, you go try to grab him with your chains, but he's able to dodge out of the way. Damn. Anything else? 
Uh, that is turn. Yeah, because I can't do anything else. So it's going to cast Freddy Fire on these two drow up here. Uh, avoiding Roderick. Much obliged. Alright, so it's a deck save. And they both pass. So neither of them get affected by it. Uh, Sarah curses. Which uh, one's on fire? None of them Which are fully good? fired. They both pass oh, on the deck Oh, because they get disadvantage. Nope, uh, the draws are free and everything, so they're fine. Oh, save throws. Oh, never mind, I'm re I misread that. All right, the one in front of you, Roderick, is going to attack you. Um, a little bit in the wrong sheet. Here we are. Yep. Meets it. All right, take some piercing damage. The other one's going to uh, fire a hand across by you. Uh, Ten does not make it. Pretty sure. All right, the one you tried to grapple, Holly, is going to try to attack you. Uh, and completely whiffs. Uh, banging right. its head. Uh, banging it. Uh, he whiffs and actually, uh, like, as he's trying to swipe, he ends up getting the uh, elite warrior behind him. Hmm. Who feels like it's just a flesh wound? Looks like he feels like it's just a flesh wound. So his arms off. Got it. <laughs> Not like a, a that type of flesh wound. Like an actual <laughs> Not a black, flesh wound. Not a black knight flesh wound. Right. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, it's his turn. Uh, seeing Ront conscious. Oh, wait, wrong button. Here we are. He's going to make a uh, attack against Ront. Nice hit, and Ront is unconscious again. And he's going to turn his attention on Lassiter. Lassiter, take uh, five uh, piercing damage, uh, seven poison. And I need you to make me constitution save. Uh, 
hear me. I'm hear muted. Me. I'm sorry. You said five and then seven. Yeah, five parasite and seven poison. Okay. And uh, run save. Right? Yep, con con save. save. Fail. Okay. Uh, you fall unconscious. Nice. <laughs> like, asleep unconscious. Oh, so your health okay. points are still where they are. You're poisoned. But you're also... you. Oh, wait a minute. No. Reverse it. You're just poisoned. Oh, oh okay. Poisoned. And I was looking at the hand crossbow thing, but that's all right. Not that it does anything different, because you're still in the shackles. Uh, Topsy's like, I really think we should. I don't know. Do you think it's appropriate? Maybe we should just try to like run past them. I don't. I don't know. First, we need to get these damn things off. I wish somebody had a key. Oh, well, okay. Maybe we can find something. That's about it. Little well, mushroom kind of pops up next to Topsy and Toby. Right, Ark. All right. Gonna bite him. Okay. Oh, but basically they need a monkey. Nope. Just it's just awkward in your your chains. <laughs> which which is weird when I'm trying to bite him. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to get in the right position in order to do it. There's just something weird going on. Fail on the an arm strike. Go to go to whiff and you end up hitting the the wall cavern. Wall the cavern. Well, this is going to come up here under Lasseter, next to Lasseter. Actually, she's just. I'm just going to say it because she's going to step back. Actually, here. She does a shove against Lasseter because he's unconscious. Steps across unconscious. And, and pushes him away. Yes, you're unconscious. Oh. Oh, no, you're not unconscious. That's right, because we didn't do. Wasn't that I mean, I, I, I don't think I'd mind, but. Yeah. <laughs> Pushes you out, out of the way, comes in. She's got that. She had picked up the short sword. With the draw head. She makes two attack at the big guy. One of them hits. Six piercing damage. Is... Right. Yep. Okay. 
Lassiter! You just got pushed out of the way. By a mean looking female dwarf. I throw up on her shoes. No. Uh. Orc friend is down again. Mm -hmm. Just seems to take one hit with that big guy. I'd, um. Um, I'll, I'll, uh. Bear the dying. Orc friend. Okay. So at least he won't have to make death saving throws. Which is okay considering you know, when you kind of examine him a little. You know, medicine. You can tell he's alive. He's not in risk of dying. It's just, it's just unconscious. Oh, that's, uh, does anyone else look, uh, like, wounded besides me? Uh, Eldeth the Dwarf. Holly's wounded, I believe. Eh, not as yeah, bad I'm... as anybody else, but. I'm not bad, but I'm wounded. Um, ooh, I have this thing called Healing Light. Oh, you have a 2d6 healing pool that resets. When you finish a long rest, as an action, you can heal one creature you can see within 60 feet. Spinning dice from the pool, max 3d6. I don't get it. Oh. It, okay, so think I... of it kind of like the paladin's um, uh, uh, lay on hands points, except instead of points, it's die. Oh, so, so I can so do push. it too. So you've got so if you've got like two healing light die, you can spend both of them and roll two d six. I think you said it was, and heal for that, or you can just spend one of them. But you have a max amount that you can use at a time. Oh. So if okay, so I have I have two uses. If I use both at once, I do the max amount. No, you, you would roll two of them. For each point you spend, you roll that many die. So while while like lay on hands was how many points you spend with how many points that they were healed, you actually heal a die amount. Oh, okay. I understand now. So, um, I'm gonna use healing light on, um, uh, how much Holly, Holly, Holly? What's your name? Holly. Yeah. yeah. You get a D6, um, Five, five health. Hey, nice roll. So I gain five health. Okay. So Go over into and I say is... thank you. That's my turn. My bad. Sorry. Right. All right. Princess turn. He didn't try to break out his shackles and doesn't.
Front is unconscious. Hess. All right. So, say our another verse, same as the first. Just gonna produce flames and throw it at the big guy. Yep. Uh, hits his shield again. <laughs> Uh, that's about it. All right. Uh, Terry turns around to everybody and says, does, a does anybody see any keys? Holly. Um, do I see any keys? <laughs> Uh, roll me a perception check. Good question. Um, is that just like a d20? No, uh, plus whatever your proficiency bonus, or your uh, perception bonus is. Um, proficiency? Okay, so... Yeah, my... bonus. Your perception bonus, so look at your skills. Okay, perception is plus one. Okay. All right, you see a set of keys hanging on the wall. Like, like right by me? Yeah, it's part of the rack of equipment, that rack of equipment. Of equipment, is it okay? Um, okay, so I grab the keys. Is that like an action if I grab the keys? Mm -hmm. And then, a, what would a bonus action be to try to unlock my shackles? Yep, there's three keys in there. <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna try key number one. Okay. Uh, roll me a, a d20. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh, you were able to unlock one of your shackles. Now you've right. your, you are freer to move. You're still at this stage. You need to at least take off the other. You you now have a free fist that you can punch punch with without disadvantage. But the other okay. one, because the chains are all connected between your neck, your wrists, and your feet, um, you okay. have to at least to to be without disadvantage for for your attacks. You would need to unshackle both of your wrists. Uh, to dis to dissuade of uh, movement, you would have to at least unshackle one of your uh, foot shackles. Actually, both of your foot shackles, and then you would just have right. a chain hanging off, which I don't think you would care too much about. Okay, you can use as a whip. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Well, if I've done that for my action and my bonus action. Let me I think it's pretty much it. So all you really have is stay. Yeah, I'll just I'll stay where I'm at. So that's my uh, I'll say you raged uh found the key. So that you <laughs> keep your rage. Okay. You're like, yeah, I don't need to get these fucking things off. Back. So, so you did it, right? All right, thank you. Uh, we are at Seraph's. What can Seraph do? Mm, 
not much. He's gonna back up. <laughs> Alright, the drow. Roderick. We'll start off with you and your adversary. Got a short sword coming your way. Uh, nine doesn't hit. And another hand crossbow shot, which does hit you. I need you to make a constitution save and throw. Take three points of damage. Is that set me? Sorry. Yep. Okay, I'm changing my dice, because the dragon eggs do not want to roll well for me. Alright, you're poisoned. Suffer from the poison condition, which really isn't going to do much because you had disadvantage on attack rolls, but you already had disadvantage on attack rolls because you were still shackled. Shackles. And I'm starting to not look good. Oh, I had one more drop. He's gonna attack uh, attack you, Ollie. Okay. Uh, and whiffs. Whiffs again. <laughs> Another nap. And and, and and again keeps accidentally striking. He's just like doing a wide swing, uh, and keeps the uh, uh, end up scraping his boss or whoever the other guy is. <laughs> I let out a laugh. All right, now, you idiot! Stop it! He says, uh, and I also understand now how my bites can be at disadvantage when you described how we're shackled at the neck too. Yep. <laughs> neck, wrists, and feet. See, I was just thinking it was like our wrists, like all connected. Uh, and Eldeth is being attacked. That's a hit. Nope, nope, nope. I rolled in the wrong sheet. That does not count. There we go. And there she goes. And she is unconscious. Well, despite being very nasty, there, uh, Lester, you'll be able to tell that they're not, they're fighting to non with non-lethal damage. So he's not trying to outright kill you; just make sure that you're unconscious. I know what's going on. I should have remembered. Keys! Did somebody see any keys? Says Topsy. Duel just kind of like cowers in her corner. Roderick. I don't, like, see, they got the swan's got like, a few good looks in it. He's, he's getting pumped now. He's going to keep attacking. What's going on with these things? That's gonna mess. They're fighting each other. It's really noisy. They come crashing into towers and such, but it doesn't really seem to be affecting yours. That's but gonna they, hit. But you do notice that you haven't seen any reinforcements coming. In this one. All right, seventeen does hit. So that and that one knocks that one out. The thirteen did not. I, I figured. That's why I just went straight to the bonus attack, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move back. Uh, 
and th this guy's gonna come over here here and he's gonna say to ho and uh try to get grab the keys from you holly let me get you out of there do you, you let him take it who's this guy he's uh one of the uh deep names is he with us yep yes if they're not drow they are with you <laughs> well except there's one drow okay. with you, but that's another matter um so he's asking for the key and, and he says let me help you get you out of there can i check inside on him to see if he's like speaking the truth yeah go ahead and insight Yeah, he he's he's looking at you like uh, you could beat the shit out of people. I'm gonna make sure you're free, and I'll take care of myself afterwards. <laughs> All right, then I handed the keys. Okay. Uh, and he un uh unlock un unlocks both of your feet, so you can move around, a and is able to unlock the one from your neck, so you actually have. You now essentially have a chain whip. Actually, I'm going to just call it a flail. A flail? Okay. Yeah, so if you, you can equip a flail to your sheet. And this is a makeshift flail. Wise flail. Just because it's, it's metal, I think whip more of a leather sort of thing. Doesn't work quite the same. Um, I mean, what's a flail but a chain whip? <laughs> I could spell today. It's a regular flail. Yeah. Add, add. Equipment. Hey, equipment. Okay. So then the control is here. Where? Okay, just right here. Well then. He was very fast at unlocking you, by the way. All right. Type. Okay, and so um, he unlocked me. Okay, and then okay. Say thank you. <laughs> thank you. And um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you go to say thank you, you notice that his feet are already unshackled. <laughs> well, damn. Um, can you, I guess I would ask him, uh, can you unlock the rest of everybody around? He's like, on it, and he moves over to the other side of Blaster. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, do, do. uh, uh, Eldith is unconscious. Lassiter! Uh, you are still shackled. Yeah. Damn, I had a plan. I lost it. Um,. Uh, I am going to, uh, your, um, mm, Spare the Dying on, uh, on, um, Dwarf Female. Alright, you try to use Spare the Dying and you realize, no, she's just unconscious, she's just sleeping. Oh! You told me that. Damn. You get. I'm late? gonna say you go do that and see that she's perfectly breathing and she doesn't look like she's ble bleeding out. So you don't actually do that. Could I uh, uh, use my action to have uh, the uh, gnome unlock me? Sure. I'll do that. All right. Uh, speedy guy can uh, basically get 
uh, three of your shackles unshackled. Uh, so uh, I will say that uh, your feet are completely unshackled. Uh, one of your hands, so you still have like one hand and then one at your neck. But you would okay. suspect on his next turn he could probably get two, your two, move over to somebody else and do it on that on them. Good job. Oh, uh, bonus action. Sure. Uh, healing word on um. Roderick. Did I that, say that would be right? great. Yes. Um. M much, much obliged. Nine. Oh boy. I'm almost at full health now. Pretty damn good. Yeah. You healed me for as much health I had left. Noise. All right. Prince. Give me mad. Still can't break out of his shackles. Ront is unconscious. Hess. You hear a big old buzzing around you. And you see um, one of the insectoid looking ones and the vulture looking ones uh, kind of like attacking one each other and running into walls. They don't seem to be paying you any mind, though. Well, this is uncomfortable. Uh, I'm going to throw another produce flame at the guy in front of me in the hopes that I actually hit him for once. All right, go ahead and do it with disadvantage. And he just bounces off the shield again. He seems to be a hard one to hit. Yeah. Tuesday, he's got the keys for blind. Holly, you have a flail. Right. I have a flail. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start swinging the shift flail and attack the drow in front of me. And this is a regular or unless you go reckless it's just a regular roll. Because you are no longer at disadvantage. Reckless advantage but the next attack on you has advantage. It's just going to be a regular one this time. Okay. He's still getting used to this whole thing. Okay. It's kind of out of practice. It's been a while since you got to swing anything around. It's been a while. Anything Let's else? See. Um. Don't think so. Uh, what? I don't think you have any bonus actions. No, I only have the rage as a bonus one. Okay. So, that's my turn. Alright. That draw you just attacked is going to attack you. That's fair. Uh, take, <laughs> take a point of piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, and Roderick. 
<laughs> Take yeah, five the... points of piercing damage and uh, make me a constitution saving throw. Yo, bitch. There we go. There we go. These dice are doing better for me. Alright. You're fine. You're still poisoned. I got, uh, see, I got the Sanguine dice now going for Roderick. Yeah. Uh, side note, Lassiter, you do realize that Eldritch is just asleep. You probably could wake her up. Alright. All right. Who? Warrior. Uh, uh, Eldritch. Eldritch, the dwarf. What about, uh, uh, no? what? Oh. Yeah. Ront, Ront is unconscious, unconscious. He's, he's like zero hit points. <laughs> Did I spare the dying him? Uh, yeah, yeah, you went to spare the dying him, but he he seemed to be uh, completely unconscious, one where you wouldn't even be able to wake him up. He, he's, he needs to sleep for a while before he'll, he'll be able to, to actually wake up. He's like out like a light in a coma. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Eldith is just asleep. The oh, fuck? Why are you asleep? <laughs> right. Late Warrior is going to turn to the uh, the fiery guy that keeps throwing fire at him. <laughs> Incoming two attacks to you, he's, he, or Hus. Uh, 16 hit you. Yes, it's equal to my AC, but that's waste leather, so. Oh, okay. Uh, so it, it would end up hitting you anyway. So um, you take 21 points of uh, damage. 10 piercing, 11 poison. Unless you've got some resistance to one of those. Holy shit! Well, that puts me at uh, uh, death saving throws. Alright. Alright, Topsies. It's like, hey, come on, Ginger, get back over here. Get us out. Stool. Uh, the school, stool things. Roderick. Uh, you see James Yard there with a pair of keys. He had just finished uh, uh, unshackling Lassiter. Oh, oh, sir, 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 can, 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 can you help me out here? Uh, he uh, spins the keys in his fingers, and in no time, your feet and uh, your hands and feet are unshackled. Oh, much, much obliged, sir. Now you have uh, shackles hanging from your neck. You essentially have a flail, but pr probably not the same type of thing that you're looking for. <laughs> no. I'm going to come up here. Pretty much have a neck weight or something. And punch him. Actually, no, I'm going to punch him. He, look, he looks punchable. Very punchable. No disadvantage, so you're you've got the regular rolls. Eighteen. That's gonna that hit. Hits. Six. Six. Six point of damage? It's a seven. Seven, sorry. I forgot I have a plus five. I'm gonna use my last key for flurry of blows. Ah shit. That first one sucked. Second one. There we go. There we go. Another eight. All right. He's starting to look bloody. Then step back ten feet. Does a mobile. Zip, 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 zip,
Jim Jar uh, quickly uh, releases the shackles from your neck, Roderick. Uh, Laster he takes off the last two of your oars and moves over to Prince Arendelle and uh, seems to, to have gotten the hang of all this and uh, gets a, three of his shackles off. Much obliged. Laster. I'll spin my uh, action waking the dwarf up. All right, she's awake. Ah, um, wake up and do something. I don't have all day, thank you. She'll be able to do that on her turn. Uh, that's it's my turn. <coughs> Thing. I don't think I have any more bonus act. Oh wait, I have healing light. Um. Uh. She'll get a healing light. Right. Um. So how many how many die have you spent? One. Okay. So another d six. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she gets a one. One is better than none. Um, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> you know I'm thinking about you. <laughs> oh, let me make sure I mark that. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm out of healing light. Alright. Prince gets his uh, part of his shackles off. Excuse me. That'll be his turn. Mont is still sleeping. Oh, he's unconscious. Completely. S. You did see uh, uh, Holly grab some keys. Unlock some of hers. Give them to a deep gnome who unlocked the rest of hers. And then he disappeared out the other door. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're still completely shackled. <laughs> and you have a, uh, a big old guy trying to stab you. Yes. Muted. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> just death saving throw. Oh yeah, that's right. You're you're unconscious. Uh, uh yeah. no, you're just unconscious. Okay. Apparently, they're good at just knocking you unconscious and not actually killing you. Uh, Turby helps get the, the rest of, uh, gonna use the help action, uh, for Jim Jar, and Prince Darendel is now completely unshackled. I'm gonna actually do something. Marking the shackled. Holly. All right. I am going to reckless attack Drow in front of me with the flail. Okay. 
And that's rolling with advantage, right? Yep. Ooh, that'll hit. Okay, and then it is... 26. Wait, did it? Oh, that's a natural 22. That's great. Did it not roll the damage either? Okay. Uh, 2 d eight. Okay. All right. Just need one more D8 on that. One more D8? Mm -hmm. So we got seven plus four. Right. No, the seven added the, the plus one. He rolled a three. Right. I'm looking at him. It's three plus four plus four. Because double the damage dice. That's the three and the four. And then plus four for for his strength modifier. And plus two, because he's raging. Oh, yeah, so 13. And right. he's down. And I... Okay, and then I will still have my movement. I'll move, move right here. Get in front of the bad boy. This guy. That's right. So hard. Okay, well, we're just going to say it's right there. That's perfect. <laughs> and then that'll end my turn. All right, we'll just do one more round of combat. We're getting to the end of it. I'm getting close to the end here, so. So we'll just do a quick, uh, yeah, one more round that we need to worry about. It's gonna shoot at Jim Jar. Who's unlocking all the prisoners. And hits him. Oh. And he falls asleep. Oh. Tragic. Uh, Elite Warrior is going to attack you, Holly. Considering you're the bigger threat. <laughs> Right now, and plus you're the only one within range that is not asleep. I'm assuming the 12 does not hit. Um, no. It does right. not. Uh, but a 23 does. So take 3 points of piercing damage and 9 points of poison. I'm still raging. Yeah, you're still raging, so the piercing damage is halved, but the poison is not. Oh, so. uh, okay. So 12 points of damage overall. All right. Unless you have some resistance to poison, but... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I think it's acid. Hold on. Where would I look that up? Features and traits? Oh, yeah. Acid. Acid. It's just acid. That I have it should show in your your uh, defenses block too. Yeah, it's just acid defense. Okay. 
For being a water genasi. Alright. Top is gonna come over here. Pick up the keys and starting to fumble through <sighs> trying to unlock himself. Stool's got a stool. Roderick. Alright. Come through here, just be like, oops, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, coming through, coming through. Sorry, right. Yeah, punch. Because you, you're mobile. <laughs> I am fast boy. Um, actually, I want to make this one a fight. My last fight. Okay. Ah, damn. An arm strike. Natural twenty. Nice. It's thirteen points of damage, right? Yeah. I'm doing math right. Yeah, since it doesn't actually die. Jim Jars, unconscious. Fear. I'm just gonna make a quick attack. Ooh, nuts. Dirty 20. Points of damage. He gets two attacks. Another five. Immediately. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't say that because we're live. Um. Anyways, uh. Da da da. Jim Jar has the keys. And there's still people locked. Well, Topsy has the keys right now. Topsy. Which one is Topsy? Uh, the one ne next to Jim Jar. This one. <laughs> okay. Um. Fuck. We really need to get out of here. Uh. I'm gonna spare the dying this guy. Uh, you find out that he's just asleep. Oh, I thought someone was unconscious. Yeah, unconscious asleep. Oh. Okay. Then that changes things. Um. Uh. Oh. Back to where I was. Is this guy still up? Mm hmm. No, I'll just blast him. Okay. And you, uh, you have. Most of your shackles off, so you can do it at with that uh, at normal roll. Yeah. Nine damage. That is my turn. Prince is unshackled. Yay, Prince. He's gonna come over here. Uh, where Ronk was, and he's gonna attack this guy. Two with his claws. Ooh. He's one in for another five. And Ronk is unconscious. Uh, because of times, we're going to call that here for the evening, and we will pick up where we left off next week. Thank you for joining us for Campaign Tune of, of Bears and Dragons! Yay! 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 Is it Thursday yet? Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye! Bye.
Hey, real quick before we go, is this a teammate? 